everyone, I'm Lexi with SYS Education and I'm here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about how to connect an external monitor or accessories to your Mac. Check it out! To connect an external monitor to your laptop, you might need to use an adapter. Plug the adapter in to one of the ports in your laptop and then connect the monitor with an HDMI cord. Like that. Your monitor should then connect to your laptop. You can change the settings by opening System Preferences and going to Displays. Here you can change the size of your display by going to Scaled, or you can also change the arrangement. Right now I have it set to mirror display, which means that the same thing that appears on the laptop screen will also appear on the monitor. But if I uncheck that box, then I'll just have a second monitor and I can change the location of the monitor relative to my laptop screen. Meaning if I have a window open on my laptop screen, I would drag it out to the right in this configuration to move it to the monitor. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect a Bluetooth device to your laptop. I have here a Bluetooth speaker that I'm going to connect to my Mac. So first I just need to make sure that it's powered on and in pairing mode. If you don't know how to do this for your device, you should look it up online. This can vary per device, but it should be easy to find. Now that my device is on and in pairing mode, I'm just going to go up to the top bar on my Mac and click the Bluetooth icon and open Bluetooth preferences. This device that has never been connected before will show up under here. I'm going to click connect. And after a few seconds, my device is now connected and I can play music or other noise through my Bluetooth speaker. Now we'll go over how to add a printer to your laptop. I'm in system preferences and I'm going to select printers and scanners. You can see this printer has already been connected, but I would like to add a new one. So I'm going to select the plus icon right here. There's a printer in the office that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And after the laptop connects, then I'll just select add. I would like to print wirelessly to this printer. So I'm not needing to use any wires or physical connections. Now that I've added that printer, you can see it here. It is green, so that means it is ready to be used and it is idle. If I need to open the print queue, I can go ahead and select this printer and then just click on open print queue. Right now there is no print queue because I have not sent anything to be printed. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below if you liked that video and come back next week for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you.